put airlines on notice, tighten security measures overseas or else. Yeah, the hope there is to avoid a laptop ban. Okay, Kick on Rachel Kim is live right now at LAX to explain more. Rachel? Yeah, Jeff and Susie, as the summer travel season picks up, people will definitely need to pack their patience. Take a look behind me. It's quite busy here tonight at LAX. No specifics or details on the new security measures, but you can expect more extensive screening of people entering the U.S. and of electronic devices. Shades on, bags packed, and all smiles. The DeGracia family from Santa Clarita can't wait to get to the Dominican Republic. And Mom Jocelyn is glad to hear that security will soon be stepped up to prevent terrorists from smuggling bombs and electronic devices, even if it means longer waits. Um, I don't mind at all going through any of that because their safety is my priority. The threat is so serious, the Department of Homeland Security issued this warning to airports and airlines operating overseas. Those who choose not to cooperate or are slow to adapt, adopt these measures could be subject to other restrictions, including a ban on electronic devices on aircraft or even a suspension of their flights into the United States. The new measures apply to flights to the U.S. from 280 airports in 105 countries. Among the changes, enhancing overall passenger screening, increasing security protocols around aircraft and in passenger areas, expanding the use of bomb detecting dogs, and perhaps most importantly, heightened screening of personal electronic devices. If they think it's a concern that, that they need to take that measure, then of course I'll, I'll, I'll abide by it. The enhanced security comes after U.S. intelligence determined more terrorists are learning how to build an explosive hidden in a laptop, like the bomb that detonated on a flight in Somalia last year. In March, the Trump administration banned large electronics in the cabins of airplanes traveling to the U.S. from 10 airports in Africa and the Middle East. The administration had been threatening to widen the ban, which concerns some other countries. Today's action is seen as a compromise. One new technology that now may be used, 3D scanners that can better identify explosives and carry on bags. The machines are being tested at Phoenix International Airport. Back at LAX. I mean, every time I come in security, it gets worse and worse. Travelers like William, who's headed to New Zealand, aren't surprised to hear about the enhanced screening. We want to travel here. We want to come to this country. There's not really much we can do. It really is a pain. Now, the security upgrades won't happen all at once. The Department of Homeland Security says they'll be phased in over time. Back to you in the studio.